Well, great day, everyone. We're uh, out here in the uh, uh, out here in the wild, and I want to uh, talk to you uh, today about uh, these blueberry bushes. Uh, as you know, most uh, most times right now here in June, blueberries have come on and are putting on. As you can see, these have uh, a few. Uh, a few blueberries on them these uh, uh these plants have kind of had a hard old way it's not been ideal conditions for them they're not in the ideal position being in these uh these big tubs and uh had a lot of rainfall had to bail those out and clean them out and all and uh as you, you know you normally these would have a lot more fruit on them uh and so in doing that uh the scripture comes to mind, you know, God talks a lot about uh, plant husbandry, animal husbandry, gives us a lot of agricultural examples. And of course, that's kind of the world I come from and know and understand. I enjoy that. Uh, never really have been a blueberry man, but you know, there's a learning curve where that's concerned. And I got here in my hand <clears throat> what uh, qualifies as dead uh, as dead wood we pruned these back and uh, you know as you can see I mean it's fairly significant there's there's pieces and parts of it that are alive but there's others that just became dead wood when a, uh, uh, in order to have greater fruitfulness uh, you got to take away the stuff that's not producing cut it off cut off the dead wood and that gives the uh, that gives the live that part which is uh, has life in it uh, even more um, <clears throat> opportunity uh, to put on more fruit. So it might uh, it might look hard and harsh, you know, to take the pruning shears out. And these are just uh, make dues. They're they're really metal cutting shears, but they worked on this. You know, uh, you can't wait for perfect conditions. Life doesn't offer us that. Uh, you know, even in this, we're kind of behind the curve, but yet getting ahead of the curve and pruning them back. There was nothing to lose when you got uh, dead wood. It just needs to come off. They need to be cleaned up by being pruned up, cut off the stuff that's uh, uh, not necessary, cut uh, off that which uh, is not gonna help these, things, these plants to go forward. That, again, the scripture comes to mind. It says, those that are already fruitful uh, Jesus said this in uh, John, uh, the uh, either 14th or 15th chapter. I don't have my Bible, but that uh, these verses are in our heart. You can look it up for your uh, for yourself. But basically, he said, "My Father is the husbandman. God's a good gardener. He's a great grower uh, of all things, and he knows exactly just what to do. He knows what's uh, going to produce and what uh, what he wants and shaping." And pruning and he also knows that which is not necessary and that which is uh, uh, doesn't need to move forth that which he calls dead wood he said my father's the husbandman and every branch uh, that produces fruit he prunes it and what's he pruning not the live uh, uh, stuff but pulling off the dead stuff and that which is just not gonna uh, be helpful and actually can be hurtful in that it's just added and unnecessary uh, weight uh, in moving forward. So sometimes God strips us back, he strips us down, he cuts off that which maybe we were, you know, at one time, boy, I'll tell you, that was just pretty full of leaves and had berries on it all out through this last year that, you know, uh, these things were full of, uh, uh, full of berries, but, you know, uh, these plants have seen some difficult uh, days and um, challenging days, so it requires some changes. You know, I think about ourselves. You know, we uh, we all face difficult days. We all face challenging days that require changes, and sometimes that changes. We just have to trust God and and believe that He knows best. And even when He takes out, you know, uh, the shears. And he starts snipping and cutting and uh, uh, pruning and shaping us brand new uh, for the future and for going forward. Uh, 
a lot of it falls under just trust. Uh, he is the husbandman. He is the greatest grower of all things. And he will, uh, we, as we trust him, he'll grow you. Yeah, I know he's growing me. And uh, sometimes growing is stretching and reaching. Sometimes growing uh, is uh, uh, cutting uh, back and feels like decreasing. But really, the less is for more. Let me pray for you uh, today especially along the lines of understanding. You know, the Bible says get wisdom. It's the principal thing, but it also says with all you're getting, get understanding. And as I said before, you know, this is a world that, uh, uh, that I know and understand. And even though I don't have much knowledge or understanding of being a, a blueberry boy, uh, we're working on it. We're willing to learn and go through the learning curve. Bless their darling, uh, uh, hearts, uh, you know, uh, they may pay uh, some of the price for, you know, the not knowing and the not understanding, but, you know, uh, you and I are probably a little bit more resilient than what we uh, think we are. We can take a lot more than what we feel like that we can uh, take. And uh, in trusting God, I guarantee you these things are going to come to a good end. We're going to uh, get them out of the situation condition they're in. Eventually, they're going to wind up in a permanent spa and uh, have, uh, have uh, even more of an opportunity. So, Father, we thank you today that we can come to you. That you've given us such a wonderful world that we can see your word and at work in. And you're working in our lives. We may not know or understand everything but lord we're going to trust you even when you come and cut the pretty that used to be in our off uh in our lives when you cut it off of our lives and we feel like that boy that was just needful and necessary for going forward we trust you because you know uh the changes that need to be made and it's always for more it's never for less i pray that uh, you would give us wisdom but also give us a good understanding take us through the learning curve uh father of your ways and your will and your workings for our life we we thank you for your word today we thank you uh lord that you are our great husbandman we thank you that you have given us fruit for our lives and we thank you lord that you do prune us you do cut us back in the areas that are just become dead wood uh for us and are not necessary for the future, the fruitfulness of the future. Lord, we look forward to that in Jesus' name, knowing that today is preparatory for tomorrow, and tomorrow will be even greater than anything we've ever known or experienced before in you, in with you, in Jesus' name. Well, I bless you in the name of Jesus. I thank you for joining us today. I hope this has been uh, helpful uh, to you. I know it helps me to be faithful and patient in the process and just make a little bit uh, more progress, little by little, step by step, day by day, one by one, and layer by uh, layer. We can trust God. He knows exactly what he's doing. Remember this until the next time. God loves you, and so do we.